Hello everybody, thank you for tuning into my channel and I am going to be showing an updated skincare collection video. I just organized my drawers and so I thought it would be a good time to show you what is in my skincare collection. Um, I have two drawers filled with skincare and that's not including um, face masks. So I will show face masks at the end of the video. Um, but the top drawer, these dividers, they're the kitchen drawer dividers you buy and they go that way. But they were too big for my drawers, even all the way pushed in, so I made it diagonal, so it's an X. So I, I made it work for me, but I got this pack of dividers on Amazon. I will leave the link down below. Um, all the um, skincare items I have are all drugstore, meaning that I either bought them at Walmart or Target. Um, I don't, or no, there's a couple things that are from Sephora. Even though they're drugstore, there are some higher end drugstore items when it comes to Korean skincare, some of it. So I will let you guys um, see all of this. I'm not going to get into what each product does because we will be here all day. I don't want this video to be really, really, really long. So I am just going to show you everything that I have. The top drawer is all, is like cleansers, toners, um, exfoliants, and then I will show you what's in the bottom drawer. So right here in this little section is some cleansers, and I have this Holika Holika cleanser from, um, this is from CVS, and let's put this down a little bit so you guys can actually see it. Um, it is with aloe, and I really like, I really like this foaming cleanser. And then there is this one by Alicia Coy. It is a moisturizing a cleanser, and we're a little, we're a little, we're a little, um, because I don't have my lighting in here, so we are a little washed out here. Here is some Polish Choice 2% BHA liquid, which is great. Holy Grail of mine, Sun and Park Beauty Water. And then this is by Sue A.E. Cleansing Water, which is something I use every morning. And then right here is this, is this, this Mario Bescu, um skincare um, glycolic gel. And if you, like, if you want to know what any of this stuff is, Google is your friend. Like, <laughs> if you're interested, like, what does this stuff do? Um, these three things right here came in a pack from Walmart. It is by Spa Scriptions, and it's different mash. You leave on for 15 minutes. And I've heard this one is similar to one of these higher-end ones. I am not sure, but someone told me to if you have that, it's similar. So over here, I have some cleansers. This is Fig and Yarrow's um, Charcoal Cleanser. And that one I just got, and this is the one I had before, which is Foaming Cleanser right there. And as you can see, I'm almost out. Then we have Sue AE Charcoal Cleanser. Charcoal, if you didn't know, is good for getting toxins out of your skin. So charcoal, anything for the skin is good. We have um, number seven, um, Foaming Cleanser. Glossier. Now this, you have to buy online. And then there is Pixie's Rose Cream Cleanser. If you follow my um, other Instagram, then you know this is new to me. And then I have an oil cleanser. Oil cleanser is good for getting off sunscreen and oil, I mean, and makeup. And as you can see, I only have a little bit in here. And then right here is another Pixi Glow Mud um, Cleanser. So yeah, that is that right there. Over here, um, I have Holy Grail First Treatment Essence by Misha. Simple Skincare Toner. Pixie's Glow Tonic. This is probably like my 50th bottle <laughs> of buying it. We have Rose Tonic, which is a new rose product from Pixie. And then there is a Glow Tonic that is brand new, a backup. This is number seven toner in here. I didn't like the packaging because the opening was too big, so I put it in a spray bottle. And this is, I, use, I take this when I travel, which is good. Take spray bottles of things that you need to pat into your face. Um, this is Ariel Aqua Blast Cleansing Toner. CVS, and then this is Lumine Clean, um, Freshing Toner from Walmart that I like a lot. And then back here, this is by, I don't know the brand, Lazy and Easy. This is like an exfoliant. It comes in the cute shape of an egg. We have um, Pixie's Glow O2 Oxygen Mask, which is a brightening double cleanse, Pixie's Double Cleanse with Caroline Herons. And then we have the Cleansing Balm in here. Any oil is good for getting makeup off, so that's what the Cleansing Balm is for. And then over here, I have e.l.f. exfoliating scrub right there. 
micellar water is good for after you cleanse your face and you want to get like makeup off don't use this to remove your makeup first off you'll waste product um, this is the Olay micellar water I love the packaging on this it's a really good product pixie exfoliant right here this is a really gentle exfoliant the peel and polish and then I have some simple micellar water right there so yes micellar water is good for like it before you tone your face um, use that to get any other makeup off. So we're going to move on to the bottom drawer, which is, um, which is eye creams, moisturizers, um, mists, um, serums. And so it's kind of dark. So we're going to go up a little bit and we're going to zoom in right there. Okay. So right here is where I have some serums and some eye stuff. So this is an eye cream by Maskology, the 24 karat, um, are we gonna focus? 24 karat um, gold eye cream and then the 24 karat gold serum, which I actually really, really like. Let's zoom in some more. 24 karat gold serum, like that. And then this is a new eye cream from Fig and Yarrow that I've been trying. That's eye cream I've been trying right there. And then this is, oops, Vichy's serum, which I, which is a holy grail. I absolutely love this. And this is a booster by Misha. It is a ampule, night repair. The label is rubbed off. Um, this is the first bottle I'll be finishing. As you can see, I have a little bit left. I need to get some more. This is Laneige Water Serum. This is Ariel R um, Aqua Blast, matches the toner in there. And this is a serum. And then this is La Roche, La Roche Posay Pigment Control Concentrated Serum. This, so this is, you put this on any area you want to combat. Um, I have two pixie serums in here. This is the Overnight Glow Serum. And then this is another one. It's almost out, but this is the Hydrating Milky Serum. I don't like the dropper, the dopplers on these, so that's why that one doesn't have it. Um, this is one of my favorite eye creams, and this is Vichy's um, eye cream. And then this is a pixie eye cream, which is a, has a little roller. It's a 24 elixir. You rub it on. You can put it in the refrigerator to give a cooling effect. Eye cream right there. This is a beauty counter eye cream. It's just about gone. And then this was from Honest Beauty. Has that cooling effect on it right there. And then over here, I have this Rose Flash Balm from Pixie that I don't really care for too much. <laughs> um, and then this is um, one, a sleeping mask I got from Walmart. It came in these like packs and I just opened them up and put them in here. So this is, I take this when I travel for a sleepy mask. This is Laneige um, Water Bank Moisture Cream. And this is the eye cream by a company I found on Amazon, Ro um, Liliana Naturals, the eye cream. And this is an oil. Oils are good if you have, you may think if you have oily skin, what is oil gonna do for me? You can add this to your moisturizer to seal that moisture in. And if you have dry skin, this is good. You just mix it with any type of uh, moisturizer to seal your moisturizer. And then I have a beauty counter oil face oil right here and stuff keeps falling over all right right here let's move this I have this elf nourishing night cream and then I have this by plant apothecary not a spot acne treatment so you mix this paste with a little bit of water and you put it on wherever acne treatment I have two of these I'll show one this is the L'Oreal Revital Lift as you guys know I have a video on this I love it a lot and so I have a backup of it so let's put that back. Um, over here, we have some more moisturizers. And this is one I've been using quite a bit. This is the Make Pram Moisturizer. Love, love, love this. Maskology 24 Karat Gold. There's four items, and I should, this is the fourth one in that line. And you can buy Maskology stuff online or at Walmart. Very affordable. Um, this is the L'Oreal Hydrogenous Water-Based Moisturizer, which is really, really good. And as a pump. This is my favorite. It is a booster. You can use it as a moisturizer at night or you can use this under your moisturizer. A booster is essentially 
like a boost of hydration for your skin. That's what it is. So if your skin is needing hydration, get something that says booster in it. All right. This is an aqua, uh, super aqua by Misha. This is the sleeping mask. So you put this on at night. It is a cream sleeping mask. And this is Laneige sleeping mask. I love sleeping masks. People either love them or hate them. I love it. The Laneige one, you rinse off with warm water in the morning before you cleanse your face. Glossier Priming Moisturizer. And then this one, my Neutrogena, which is really, really good. It is the Hydro Boost um, Moisturizer. And then we have this retinol, which I need to, I got this from the same company, Liliana Naturals. I don't really know what retinol is, um, <laughs> but I saw that I need to research to actually buy one if I need it for my skin. The thing with skincare is that there are things I would tell you, you need to have this for your skin, but you don't need everything that's out there. So I need to look at retinol and see exactly what it is before I decide to purchase a more higher end one. So that is um, that back there. Right, sorry you're out of focus I had to take the autofocus off because it wouldn't autofocus on um, my products so I just put the manual focus on so you guys can see them up close okay so back here I have a lot of mist I love mist um, this is Fig and Nero's complexion water and this is Honest Beauties um, replenishing mist and mists are good if you feel like your skin is dry during the day and you don't want to wash your face a mist is going to give you that like a shock of hydration to your face. This is Pixie's Makeup Fixing Mist. So like a fix, you know, fix your makeup. Not fix it, but set your makeup. This is Rose Apothecary's um, Cucumber and Rose Water. I love rose water for the skin. And then this is um, Pixie Sun Mist. This is a sunscreen. I love it. It is SPF 30. I always go 30 when I do um, SPF. And that's the most important thing, wear sunscreen. This is the Hydrating Milky Mist. I like wearing this at night after I've cleansed my face, putting, adding more hydration. And this is the Vitamin Wake Up Mist, so when you use it after you clean your skin. And then this one back here is the Glow Mist. This is the um, Pixie's most popular one. It's oil and water, so you shake it up, and it looks like that, and then you spray it. So shake, make sure you shake it up before you use it. This one is from Sue AE, and this is the Revitalizing Rose Mist, and I love it. I need to use it more, but now that my skincare is actually organized, I will be able to see exactly what I have and use it. And so I'm going to show you guys my face mask. Um, I have some new ones, but I keep them underneath the counter because it's not, I use face masks maybe once a week. You can use them as often as you want, um, but I use them about once a week. And so I'm just going to show you. Uh, like different makes. I have a lot of Sue AE ones because they're readily available. They are at Walmart. And so I have quite a bit of those. And this is the Donkey Milk Sleeping Mask. I can't really tell. Donkey Milk, it is like a grayish white package. And then there I have some purifying mat, um, charcoal ones. This is the peeling, um, the, the brightening gel. And this one, um, after removing, you put this on, you want to brighten your skin. Great for after makeup. And then this one is a Akai Berry Revitalizing Sleeping Mask. And then we have some more like Sue AE um, Aloe. I love aloe. Aloe is good for, you know, replenishing the skin. These are some I got from Amazon. If you look on Amazon for face masks, I'm telling you that's the deal. That is where you're going to get your money's worth. That you can get like 20 masks for like 12 bucks. Just search like face masks. And so I got a bunch of these different, you know, different fruits and veggies and all that um, and I saw a few so I have a bunch of those it's by the brand Dermal and I like them I use quite a bit and I saw quite a bit left more Sue A in here these are from Target um, I believe and this is the um, what is it called Andalou um, instant firm and lift mask and then there's another Sue A E one in here collagen vitamin which is you know vitamin D these are from Target. This is, they have like the silver foil on it and looks like that. And then I got these packaging, of course, right there. Like look how, look how adorable that is. So, and then I have these right here. These are from Target right here. And they're by the brand Coco Star, K-O-C-O -O Star. And I love these. These are little, they, they come like this, like little, 
um, shaped like fruits and you put them on where you need them. So that is like my face masks in there. And I just keep them in here. I'm a face mask order. I don't think you can have too many face masks. And face masks are good if you're traveling because face masks have essences in them. So if you don't want to take your bottle of essence, there you go. So you can take a couple of face masks with you or however long you're going to be gone and use it that way. So yeah, that is my um, skincare collection and how I store all of my skincare. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I enjoyed showing you guys everything. I'm a skincare product hoarder. Like, you, don't, you do not need all of this stuff to keep your face right, but I love trying different things. I love switching up and taking things out and seeing if I can make my skin better or revisiting something that I thought maybe didn't work, but maybe I didn't use it long enough. So yeah, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any comments or questions about anything, um, and hopefully I can answer it. I'm not a skincare expert, um, but I've been diligent about my skincare routine for the past year and some months and so I know a little bit so if I can answer it I will um but always listen to your skin always wear sunscreen and make sure you're hydrated and with that so I'm gonna get out of here and I will see you all next time bye